Ugh. Hey everyone, my damn shoulder here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review, a classic review of the Converge album Jane Doe. This is the seminal 2001 record from Massachusetts metal and mathcore band Converge. Since releasing about 20 years ago at this point, Converge's Jane Doe has grown to be one of the most celebrated albums in the metalcore genre, but also over that same span of time, Converge's influence has shown to reach far beyond the popularity of their music. Between guitarist and producer Kurt Ballou working with countless young bands, and frontman Jacob Bannon co-founding Death Wish Records in 2000, Converge's impact on underground and extreme music might be as big behind the scenes as it is on the front lines. Either way, this record and the band that made it have not only maintained an incredible amount of relevance over the years, but have gained a very rare near-universal appeal where what they do appeals to not just metalheads and hardcore veterans, but young punks, breakdown fiends, even critics. And it's not hard to see why. Jane Doe and records like it at the time represented a brave new world for metalcore, of dynamic and technical experimentation of genre fusions without losing a lick of the aggression and intensity the genre is known for. In Converge's case, I would actually argue here they turned the intensity up. It wasn't always like this though, because prior to Jane Doe, while Converge's records were good, they weren't quite as high impact or tight. The timelessly crushing sound of this album would take a while to develop, as Converge would not only slowly grow into their performance style, but their visual aesthetic too. Not to mention it would take some time for Kurt Ballou to become the band's prime producer. But since Jane Doe, Converge has been on an incredible creative streak, pushing boundaries, dropping classics, and racking up the kind of staying power that most fans in their genre can only dream of. Because as fads and trends in heavy and extreme music have come and gone, Converge has stayed on their own path. And it shows in that a Converge record from the mid-2000s can sound just as fresh as something that the band is doing today. Chalk it up to creativity, industriousness, right place, right time, an act of God, but Converge's ability to influence and dominate in their field is unparalleled. So to Jane Doe, what is this record and why is it so good? Personally, I think it boils down to several things. The blistering sound, the high octane performances, vocals that burn like a, a branding iron in your ear canal. This thing is basically the soundtrack to hearing damage. But the appeal of Jane Doe isn't just in its extremity, but also its little stylistic nuances, if you would even dare to apply a word like nuance to a record such as Jane Doe. Because even though this is a metalcore album, it's not just some Neanderthal breakdown fest and Converge come through with ways to make it anything but. Like with the shrill and bustling interpretation of post-hardcore on distance and meaning that's enhanced with some weird electronic phaser effects that pop up here and there. Or the oddly shaped, disorienting, and mathematical riffs and drum patterns on the intro to the song Thaw. The band even dabbles in some sinister alt-rock passages backed with crunchy bass and devilish guitar leads on hell to pay. Also, that super sweet set of four chords at the midpoint of Homewrecker, how is this not just an extreme take on something you would normally hear out of like a heavy metal fist pumper? Especially as the band brings these chords back at the end and starts popping in these little drum fills. So not only does Converge offer a lot more stylistic diversity on one record than most metalcore bands do, but simultaneously their mind-blowingly loud sound allows everything on this record to sound more stylistically cohesive than it actually is. Jane Doe has presentation in spades, as well as a genuinely great flow, and a thrilling sound if you're not shy about loud music. Right from the start with the track Concubine, this album will keep just about any listener on the edge of their seat, whether out of excitement or anxiety. Either way, this track's crisp drums and distorted screams and dizzying guitar leads and powerfully bassy riffs will make you feel something. Personally, I feel like the screaming on this track is so loud, it's like fire breath burning my skin off. After this, we have an amazingly smooth transition into the track Fault and Fracture, which has this funny skipping little groove that hits a speed that is so intense, I'm just losing control, it's visceral as fuck! The most awesome part of the track, though, is probably this evil ascending melody that plays throughout much of the track's finish that progressively speeds up into a frenzied finale. And again, as I mentioned the diversity on this album earlier, the band understands that you're going to have 
have a better listening experience if they don't hit you with the same sound and idea over and over and over. So past this point, they start to change things up a little bit. With distance and meaning, not only do you get that post-hardcore shift, but you get a vocal change too, with a, a raw sound where the singing comes off sometimes snobby, sometimes absolutely manic. The comparatively mellow hell to pay is a nice change of pace too. It easily makes up for its lack of noise with an overabundance of brood. It's brooding. But not only is their magic in Converge's ability to sneakily sweeten their incredibly abrasive sound, but they also find different ways to vary up the noise too. Like on the track Bitter and Then Some, where Bannon's voice sounds like it's being recorded on the other end of a very tiny drain pipe. <laughs> I'm telling you, the ear-shredding sounds throughout this LP are enough to, to make other genres and bands that historically have been perceived as extreme and over-the-top uh, just, just look like, I don't know, child's play or something. Because while I notice and appreciate everything Converge does on Jane Doe to make this more than just an expression of pure hardcore noise, it's just such an onslaught. Maybe the biggest onslaught of the band's discography, considering that past this point, uh, Converge has really worked to incorporate a lot more harmony and dynamics into their sound. Thankfully, though, the band changes things up tastefully for the final moments of this record, whether it be on the thick, slow, and drony Phoenix in Flight, which at some points reminds me of Sun, or much of the sludge metal that would be coming in the decade post this record. The band manages to push this album to mischievous new heights on Thaw, with maybe the most frenetic drums and guitars on the entire LP. The whole thing makes me feel like I'm caught in some kind of maze slash torture chamber where I'm being quickly torn apart in little pieces by, I don't know, blender blades or something. Also, the mutant guitar riff on this track is so jerky and violent. And finally, you have to give it to Converge for having the guts to end this record with an 11-minute song and have it actually be good. A slow, abrasive, kind of melodic at points, and multi-phased monster of a track that I think ties the entire record up pretty nicely. And that's my personal rundown of Jane Doe. If I had to sum this album up in any way, I would say this thing is like forging the loudest, hardest, heaviest, most deadly steel or some kind of metal imaginable. It's so hard! But then you take that metal and with your bare hands, you just bend it and whip it into a million different shapes like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jane Doe, at least to me anyway. I love this record, great record, amazing record, very happy and pleased that I get the opportunity to talk about it, and hope you guys love this album as well, or at least will be willing to give it a try if you have not uh, listened to it already. That's the review. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe, please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Anthony Fantano, Converge, forever.